Drop the beat. <laughs> Seven types of stretching. Seven types of stretching. So, Lauren, people are moving less. Yep. We're not getting out as much as we used to. I appreciate the hat upgrade too. I'm not You're quite welcome. an elf. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly onboarding him to the elf life. Yes. We'll see by the so end. We're, we're, we're trying this out. Um, but again, we're, we're staying at home more. To do, we're, we're sitting, yep. we're locked down, seven types of stretching. Okay, seven is just a random number, by the way. There's no, but stretching, like the, the idea, idea of like, you know, oh my gosh, I'm so tight because I've been at my computer for 14 hours a day, you know, in this hunched down, over rounded position and weird. My neck and my back hurt. It's so it's odd. Weird. Yeah, my Strange. shoulders give me issues. Stretching. So when you don't stretch, your body actually, like, I like the phrase, if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So the articulation or the movements of your joints actually become restricted. Blood flow to that area is restricted or non-existent. So literally the tissues start to like shrivel up and die and say, I'm not getting any signals. So I don't need to exist. I don't need to put energy here, fuel here. I'm just gonna stop working. And then it's a just kind of feedback loop of negativity. We get worse and worse, so we move less. because like, oh, my back hurts, so I shouldn't move. But really, your back hurts, so you need to move it in a proper way to get the blood flow back to feel better. Yeah, and guys, just, just simple stretching too. Like there's no, I mean, depending on where you are, I mean, just moving the shoulders and taking yep. a broomstick and doing some like pass-throughs and, and just walking, trying to touch your toes. Like just yeah. doing simple stretches that you did in middle school PE. Like, better than nothing. We don't we don't have to get too crazy yeah. here, but like Lauren's saying that, that movement piece, because um, the tough thing is if you don't use, lose it, you use it, you lose it, yep. and then you just stop using it. Yeah. And then it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Right. Oh, I've always had tight hamstrings. Oh, my back has always been bad. So then you stop using your back and then your back gets worse and worse and worse. Next thing you know, you're 43 and you can't even shovel your own driveway. Sorry, I hope that didn't strike a nerve. He's not like, having any. Like, that's <laughs> like, no, my I can shovel my driveway. Let's be clear here. Um, I distracted you. <laughs> that's what you did. Yeah. But you know, like that, that's, you, you should be, you know, a functional human being yeah. and, 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 and have that, you know, mobility. I'm not saying you're going to be, you know, if you're 50 years old, you're not going to have the same mobility that you did when you're 20, but like, you know, stay strong friends, yeah. like be, be, be tough here. And just because you're, you're working at home or you're, you're working at home more or something like that, doesn't mean that you can't move and doesn't mean that you can't stay active and, and, you know, st and stay healthy. Again, you, you get all bound up and then you don't want to exercise. Yeah. You, you, you don't exercise. That feeds the negative emotions. Yes. Now you don't eat well. Yep. You don't eat well. Now you put on weight. Now it's just this, this vicious cycle yeah. of, you know, you know, and, and, and don't I would, do don't do it. <laughs> and I would say, obviously like this is a, this is a, because of, a change of your environment. You're now, your life has changed, yeah. your routine has changed. So you maybe got away with this before, but maybe now for the first time, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm watching this video and that's resonating with me. My body is just feeling like crap and I don't know why. Think about all the changes you've had. You no longer get, getting in your car, going to the office, walking around the office, that little bit that you did, all those little tiny bits matter. So um, don't, like Adam said, don't overcomplicate it. If you think about any joint that you have in your body, most of them do circular things. So just move them in a circular way. Like you don't have to get crazy with it. Um, it's, just, it's just start small, start with moving. And you may find that that gets you wanting to maybe work out, go for some walks, eat some better food, treat yourself better. Because yeah, you feel better. Yep. And again, it, it circles back the other way too. You start hitting the dominoes in a positive way. Yes. You know, you stretch out a little bit, you feel a little better, you eat a little bit better, you sleep a little bit better, your stress level is a little bit better, you know, whoop, and everything goes up, 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 as opposed to down, down, down. Yeah. We're just trying to say here that we want you guys to, to put it in a business perspective, be the CEOs of your own health. Like you have to own your health and we can give you all these tips and all these 12 days of tricks, but you have to start doing some of them. And I know that I fell into it too, of just kind of like, well, this is where I am, so cool. I guess I get, I get to door dash food to my door every day because I can't go to the restaurant. I didn't even used to eat out, but it's an excuse for me to want to order food. So I need to stop making excuses. You need to stop making excuses and we just need to start feeling better. Yeah, and if there's a time to stop making excuses, during pandemic times are the best time to stop <laughs> making excuses. Best reason. There's, not, there's no time for excuses because it's, again, yeah. it's serious stuff that we're dealing with here. We need you to be as healthy as humanly possible from every standpoint, mentally, physically, immune-wise, emotionally, immune -wise, emotionally yes. yep. go from there. Awesome. Stretch it out. Get it, guys.